So here's the idea. We're going to create an onion factory here. We're going to create an onion factory using our little middleware function. So here's the idea. We start with our status function. And we want to wrap that status function with logging functionality. So what we do is we write a middleware function that will bring in the logger. So we take status, we pass it to our middleware function, and what our middleware function does is it returns a new function that implements logging and keeps status in the middle. Now maybe we want to do some error handling. No problem. Middleware function. What does the middleware function do? It takes what we already had in terms of status and logging and wraps it again with some error handling. We're constructing an onion from the inside out, from the inside out. Now, maybe we want to do some uh, panic handling, right? Or, error, or we want to do some sort of form of metrics. So we get our middleware function. And what happens? Middleware function. You get it? Function in, larger function out. Larger in, function larger out. Larger in. So that's what this is all about. Function in, handle a function in, handle a function out. Handle a function in, function out. Now, we're going to have several middlewares that we want to wrap. Logging, errors, metrics, panics, auth. We're going to want to pass these different functions in at the same time. So we wrote a little sort of convenience function called wrap or middleware. And what it does is it takes a slice of these middleware functions, and then the handler that we want to put in the middle, that would be status. And then it walks this slice of middleware functions in reverse with the idea that visually, when we do this, what you'll see is, OK, we want to wrap a log, errors, metrics, panics, auth. And then what the middleware function says is, OK, no problem. So given status, we're going to wrap this onion, right? This should be the outer layer. So we're looking at the onion from outer layer in. And so we have to walk the array in reverse order to build this out the way we see it visually. That's all it is. So if this is your most outer layer of the onion. To get there, we've got to wrap it last. And so that's why you see us kind of walking the slice in reverse order. And we get the handler function. We make sure somebody didn't give us a nil handler function. And then pass the handler in, get another handler out. Pass that in get a larger one out. That's all it is. This code is impossible to read just kind of in the raw. You've got to have these sort of images in your head that you're constructing this onion. For the full course, visit courses.ardenlabs.com.